All right, update on Gala Games. So I actually covered this yesterday in the stream. I just want to make a quick video. Uh, for those of you who missed the stream yesterday, nothing's necessarily changed since the stream, but I also wanted to show you something very, very important. In my opinion, the most important chart that we should be looking at for Gala Games at this moment in time. First of all, I'm going to start off with the analysis that I normally do by putting Gala against the US dollar and seeing how the US dollar valuation is holding up. Now, first of all, let's jump into the higher time frames and we'll work our way down so uh, our momentum indicators have really only just loaded in on the weekly time frame so uh, i'm not going to be commenting on the squeeze bomb simply because we've only got you know two candles here but this is in a bearish stance at this moment in time i want to talk about the volume to start with now volume is indicative of price volume predicts price you've heard that multiple times before i imagine and as you can see the price of gala games against the us dollar is capitulating in the macro term while the volume is exponentially increasing well this is indicative that the bottom is not in and we are about to keep on capitulating and i'll show you what happens on the inverse of that you can see you know the volume's chopping to the side it's going down a tiny bit but we have a reversal why is that because you can see we've got bearish volume and it goes down and then you get an influx of bullish volume so when you're bullish when you're breaking down or simply when you break up and start accumulating to the side slash downwards if you've got bearish volume that's going down like this it's indicative that the bears are running out of strength and once the bulls come back in with these bullish candles you can see bulls take over the downtrend right away but when you're dumping into the price and the volume is exponentially increasing that simply means the bottom's not near and we knew this last week we knew we were going to go lower because the volume increased we knew the week before that we were going to go lower because the volume increased we knew the week before that the volume was going to go uh, or the price was going to go lower because the volume keeps on increasing so we're very very bearish on the higher time frames um if we if we come over to the daily you can see the past couple of days we did try and have a bounce but this bounce was seen throughout the entire altcoin market gala games didn't do anything special with this bounce and it seems like we're already capitulating we were roughly about here in the, the live stream that i did yesterday and i was predicting you know a 56 57 percent move to the downside for gala down to approximately 3.8 cent it seems like we've moved down about eight percent since the stream and like i said i expect us to move down about another 55 3.5% down to my price target and it can get a lot uglier from there if we zoom out a bit you can see you know your moving averages up here 200 day moving averages miles away your daily EMA EMA ribbons are miles away as well and you know these have been a solid level of resistance since we flipped bearish over here you can see it's been resistance we tried to flip them but it was an unsuccessful flip because you retested them but this is the point in time where you want to take out the invalidation point and that's not what we did we made an end pattern we didn't come up to the high we broke down and that was a very very textbook failed flip and as i always say you know a failed move equals a fast move in the opposite direction and that's why we capitulated all the way down to this low since then Gala has very, very much been struggling to get above the daily EMA ribbons. And as I always say in my videos, the trend is your friend until the end. There is no point trying to catch a falling knife on an altcoin when you don't know where the bottom is. I don't know where the bottom is. None of us have a crystal ball. We are simply looking at the trend and identifying that until you do flip these daily EMA ribbons, you're going to be in the same bearish stance as you've been in since the all-time high. And we've massively capitulated against the US dollar pair. On the squeeze bomb on the daily, the momentum indicators have decided yesterday they tried to take a little bit of a break when the bulls tried to take over. I imagine on the four hourly, we probably recently flipped this because you can see we're having this run up into your four hourly EMA ribbons. Why is this not that impressive? Because we did it here when we failed the retest. We did it here when we failed the retest. And if I keep on zooming back, I could find, you know, a plethora of times like here where we failed the retest and then this was a you know a minor four hourly uptrend but like i said we look at the four hourly uptrends to see if you can get above the four hourly emas after you get above the four hourly emas you still need to focus on the dailies which we're miles away i will update you if we do come up to these but in my opinion at this moment in time it doesn't look like we are coming up to them four hourly time frame continuing on with our data you can see there's been a huge influx of volume uh, in the past couple of days since the 11th so the past three days we've had a very even mix maybe more pushing in the side of the bulls but 
why is this not that impressive because like i said during this failed retest during this failed retest we saw the exact same thing we did not see continuation we did not flip the ema ribbons and see more bullish volume coming in so in my opinion this failed retest this m breakdown that we're currently experiencing right now on gala games is indicative that we are about to head to lower price targets now that is basically all for the usd pair like i said you know we zoom out to the weekly time frame uh we do not have support until we come down to these lows now you can see this is where we pretty much minted over on kucoin uh, i always say mint uh, i simply mean when it you know released over on kucoin uh but you can see we kind of bounced around within this region for a couple of weeks before we did go on this big big uptrend for gala and there's not much volume traded within these regions you can see once you break down from 7.5 cent there's no volume traded from here to here which means it would be a straight drop down to 3.9 cent and potentially even the lows down here that is a 76 percent drop uh, from when we predicted that move from where it is now it's about 75 percent drop so that is gala against the us dollar now i said like just to clarify it does seem like we are extremely bearish every time we come into your ema ribbons we get a rejection for hourly it's the exact same we're already probably about to have a bearish momentum shift to the downside considering we failed the retest of the ema so now at the start of the video i promised you we are going to be looking at the most important chart for gala games the most important valuation we can pull for gala games is the gala versus bitcoin pair now you might be wondering why would we care about the bitcoin valuation well in my opinion bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency that is here to stay over the long term that doesn't mean others can't make it it simply means i would bet my life that bitcoin is going to be around in the next 10 to 20 years i would not bet my life that ethereum crypto.com xrp all of these other cryptos these altcoins they come and go if you don't believe me click on my profile click on my youtube channel click on playlist click on microdosing bitcoin and i made a video about the top 25 cryptos in 2017 in the peak of the bull market compared to the top 25 cryptos in 2020 and it very much highlights my point that all of the cryptos that were popular last cycle completely capitulated and left the face of this earth all of your zed cash and moneros completely left the top of the uh the top the top of the crypto market so it's very important that we measure against bitcoin another reason for this is because by buying altcoins like gala games you're taking on a ton of extra risk than if you simply bought bitcoin and i understand risk to reward you're hoping to risk more money in order to make more money if these altcoins do break bullish but that only works if your altcoin is outperforming bitcoin so if you're buying an altcoin which is underperforming against bitcoin you're not only wasting money you're not only losing money but you're taking on tons of extra risk for a crypto that is not performing as well as bitcoin which is a hundred a million times more safer than garlic games so if we look at what's going on right now you can clearly see fibonacci from lows to high this is something best to find on the weekly time frame in my opinion we've now had three weekly closes with a red green red formation which is indicative that we are about to massively massively capitulate on gala versus the bcc pair now coming over to the daily time frame after we do break below these lows it doesn't really seem like we have a plethora of regions to go this would be indicative that we could come down another 59.5 percent against bitcoin don't believe me that that might happen well we did it three days ago we were down here on the 11th of may we have already come down to this level and we've already had a bounce and we've already got a lower high against the bitcoin pair you can very much see that we are in a downtrend and the lows are getting very exponential at this moment in time hop over or, or look out zoom out on the daily like i said once you capitulate below this low we really only have you know this this box of support apart from this let me remove this apart from these uh these couple of wicks before we minted there is there's nothing there's absolutely nothing so these levels absolutely need to hold for gala games you can see if we do capitulate below this wick and we do take out the point i'm not going to include all the zeros in this but if we do break below that 86 region which is a 71 percent drop from where we are 
then if we invert the chart, you'll very much be able to see that, you know, if we were pretending this is a different cryptocurrency, this is not Gala Games, this is Lala Games. This was Lala Games all time high. And, you know, you can draw it from here if you want. If we do take out this box, then we could be flipping the previous all time high and heading off into price discovery. Sounds good, right? But this is the inverse chart. So we would be in price discovery to the downside for Gala Games against Bitcoin. That can get very, very ugly and very, very dangerous very fast, considering, you know, you zoom out on Gala Games and once again on the USD pair, we do not have much support below this kind of uh, capitulation level. So if we do drop more than 77%, we would be in price discovery to the downside and that can get very ugly. Don't believe me that we can drop 70 seven percent well we already wicked down to here and that is a 45 percent drop from where we already are i'm telling you in my opinion if bitcoin capitulates below 29,000, and this chart looks very similar to this kind of triangle breakdown that we had over here i'm telling you these altcoins are going to get slaughtered against their Bitcoin pair. So be very, very cautious. I'm not trying to shake you out your bags. I'm not trying to fudder anything. I'm looking at the data objectively and it seems like almost every altcoin at this moment in time is massively capitulating against the BTC pair. And in my opinion, the BTC pairs are absolutely what we need to look at at this moment in time. If we're purely focusing on making more US dollars while, we, while you're in a bear market, you're completely missing out on a ton of opportunities. If like me for the past couple of days you've been selling all your altcoins and jumping into bitcoin these altcoins are massively massively capitulating against bitcoin so let's say you've got x amount of gala you sell it for bitcoin you've got one bitcoin let's say gala does come down to these price targets and this is the bcc pair meaning what happens if gala drops you know 70 percent let's say gala drops 80 percent against bitcoin that means that you would be able to use that one Bitcoin that you previously had Gala and you sold it for Bitcoin. You'd be able to use that one Bitcoin to buy X plus 80% Gala, meaning you've got an 80% turnaround and you're getting almost double the amount of Gala. Let's say Gala moves down to these kind of levels, which is just below the lows, then you could buy double the amount of Gala that you initially had for your Bitcoin pair. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm just letting you know what I plan on doing. I, like I've been saying in my videos, I was here during this bear market and I'm here now and I'm telling you these two scenarios look very, very similar. I think we're in for one, two, maybe a month more of capitulation down to some lower price targets before we do get moving up again. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a boring month and I really do think altcoins are going to massively capitulate against Bitcoin. Could be completely wrong. This is my trading plan as always. Hope you found some value in this. Hope if you haven't checked out the Gala BTC chart that this was somewhat of an eye opener to you. Wish you all the best if you're in Gala. As always, cowboy out. Peace.